What's up, Mortgage Coach community? My second awesome interview of the day this morning. I opened it up with a uh, how to win with real estate advisors with some amazing professionals, uh, Josh Metal and uh, Craig Strett. So that was fun. And now we're, we're rounding out the day with Craig Anderson from Seattle, uh, Washington. What's up, brother? I'm doing great, Dave. How are you? I'm doing really good, man. I, uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you getting that, uh, that video from one of your real estate agents telling us why she loved Mortgage Coach was a, a very nice surprise. Yeah, that was really cool. So, so Greg, I know you, you know, you're a top producer. Uh, I think this year you're going to end up, is it 160 million? Hundred, yeah. 160 ish, 165, something like that. And how many, how many loans and family served is that? That's 315 to 320 families, depending on how the month ends out here. So yeah, good year. Can't, can't complain about the year at all. It's been, uh, it's been great. We blew through our goal of 300 and, you know, we're going to try to keep it up for next year. Well, that's, that's, I mean, that's just incredible volume. I mean, anybody that's helping 300 families a year did over a hundred million is, you know, a legend in the space. So congrats on that. Well, uh, for anyone listening to that, to me, more important than the volume, it's the fact that he, every family is getting a total cost analysis. Greg has done thousands of total cost analysis. So you're looking at a, a red belt grand master mortgage coach who has also transitioned to that and just an incredible amount of volume. In a, in a minute, when we play this one minute video from his realtor, you're going to see that your realtors know what mortgage coach is. So I guess I want to ask that question before we play this. First of all, tell us a little bit about this agent and tell yeah. us a little bit about why she knows so much about mortgage coach. Well, so, so what's funny about this agent is she moved out here from the East coast. She was an agent on the East coast and her husband got transferred um, with his job. And so she moved out here and uh, worked with one of my referral partners and so I ended up doing her uh, mortgage for her and her husband when they moved out here. Nice. And so she had seen more, and this was probably, gosh, I don't know, six or seven years ago. So she had seen my TCA back then when she was a client. And then immediately when she got licensed here, she, um, you know, said, hey, I, I want you to be my preferred lender. And um, we've had a really good relationship, you know, like I said, for five or six years now, Um you know, we do most of her business, you know, when she can direct it. So she directs it to us and, and we share, I share my TCAs with my agents. I, um, it's just something I think that's really important. I want them to know what advice I'm giving their clients, right? That, uh, that number one, it helps me get them educated, right? So they know what's going on. It helps them write the offers. It helps them understand in our area, the appraisal gap strategy has been a big thing for, gosh, I mean, a couple of years now. And so we've, we've been using that strategy and showing our agents, you know, what it looks like on paper to, uh, you know, to write that appraisal gap into the contract. So we're using that. Um, you know, I, I like for my agents to know that my clients are getting a fair rate you know, that, that then all my agents know that we're not the lowest in town. We're not trying to be the lowest in town, but they, I want them to know they're getting a fair rate. And I also want, I want them to know that the client is buying into the rates and fees and everything that we're providing. It just makes for a great partnership. And it really, I think, separates us from the competition because, you know, how many people are going to come knocking on that agent's door and want her business and she's going to be like, oh, great, you know, show me your TCAs, <laughs> right? Right. You know, what you said reminded me of something. And I, I know this has come up with a lot of interviews. I can remember one specifically with Jeremy Forcier when I was asking him about, you know, how does he turn mortgage coach into a unique value prop with agents? And he, he talked about, you know, hey, he, he asks these questions. He always positions it around. It improves communication, but he also always tries to, you know, well, let me do one for you. Yeah. And, and first of all, he says, Hey, I end up getting a lot of realtors loans, especially in refi markets. Right. Uh, but it's interesting that your relationship started the way it did and, yeah. and she got to experience it from a consumer. But I, I think that's an important reminder for every mortgage coach on this call that, you know, at some point in the relationship, let's say you've already got a real estate agent, 
you you really don't have them all the way until you've done a total cost analysis for them. Right. Whether whether you were trying to do a refi analysis, whether you were actually trying to do a loan, or whether you're just kind of doing a mock-up, you know, and if and right. if it's a realtor that's renting, you're doing a rent versus own. And 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 so I think always getting people to see it from their perspective, even a CPA or financial planner, hey, let right. me let me do this for you. Like with partners, they're going to have more connection when they, when they see it from a personal perspective. Yeah. You know, my, my agents now I've been doing this, I've been using mortgage coach for so long. My agents will refer to it as a TCA and they'll say, Hey, you know, here's the Smith family. This is what they're looking to do. Uh, could you put a TCA together so I could talk to them in my initial buyer packet or my initial buyer interview with them? Like, just so that they, you know, they have the numbers as well and it gives them an idea. So they actually request TCAs from me now. So it's, it's great. It's, it's a, it's a pillar of my business. It's something that I've surrounded my business around uh, advice for years and mortgage coach just helps me show that in a, in a great format. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Well, let's, Let's do this. Let's um, let's play the actual video. It's like five. It's like a minute, sure. And uh, and then let's unpack it. And then community, you know, if you have questions, feel free to ask questions. Um, you know, this is a live call in the it's streaming live. I uh, want to remind everybody we've got an awesome uh, Instagram page, Mortgage Coach on Instagram. Also, be sure to follow the Modern Mortgage Summit. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's see what uh, what she has to say, and then we'll we'll unpack it. Um, if you don't hear this, let me know. I love Mortgage Coach. Uh, my name is Genevieve Stoll, and I'm a real estate broker with Windermere Real Estate in the Seattle area. Uh, and I work closely with Greg Anderson of Caliber Home Loans. He is my preferred lender, and I partner with him on as many transactions as I can uh, because love I that. how he educates my clients. And I love how he brings them through some of the more difficult and confusing aspects of choosing the right mortgage for them. Uh, and one of the things that I love that he uses is Mortgage Coach, which is a platform that can show my clients um, in a very uh, user-friendly platform what different options will look like for them for different down payments, different price of homes, different rates with different buy downs, uh, including all of the fees which I appreciate as a local lender are usually very, very accurate to what my buyers can actually expect at the closing table instead of soft numbers that might be much higher <laughs> when it comes down to it. Um, and uh, I always appreciate um, just myself as well, being able to look at that more closely um, and see what options my buyers are considering so that if they speak with me about it, I have a frame of reference. So, so, I love Mortgage Coach. Oh, let's uh, try to stop it here. And I'm a real so, so you notice that she, you know, she called out one of the things that she loved about it was that she knows what strategic advice um, Greg has mentioned to the client. And a lot of realtors love that link. By the way, guys, I had asked Deborah Bird to join us. So hi, hi, Deborah. It's good to see you. Hello. It's good to see you again twice today. Yeah, yeah. She she actually tried to call me. Her and I had a sync up to do it. I'm like, hey, I'm live with Craig right now. And if you Bring want to join on, us, brother. here's a link. I love it. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So so Greg, let's unpack that a little bit. What you know, what were your takeaways from that? What do you, you know, you're a leader to loan officers. I mean, at the volume you're doing, you know, who you are in the industry, you're a coach. And so knowing that there's brand new loan officers watching that, knowing that there's uh, people that are trying to get to the next level with agents, you know, what are the takeaways that you think every loan officer should get from hearing what that realtor has to say? Yeah. So, um, well, first of all, I'll tell you how that came about. We were shooting content for the next quarter. So she interviews me, I interview her and we kind of go back and forth and then we post it on social and that about, you know, all kinds of topics. Um, and so we were just sitting there and uh, we're talking about a client that we had recently got under contract. And she's like, she's like, I love that the TCAs. And I'm like, and she just ta starts talking about it. And I said, we're, we're doing a video. We're doing a video right now because of what you just said. So we're just sitting there talking about it. And I think what, what I take away from that is 
I'm using a software to get what is in my brain into a format that can be understood by everybody, whether they're in the mortgage business or not. Um, you know, I mean, let's face it, a lot of realtors, they're really good at what they do, but they don't really understand what we do. And so the, you know, the TCA helps with that. Um, I think it's super, super important, like I said earlier, that you let your agents know what you're doing for their clients. Just closing the loan on time, that's, you know, that's 101 now. Uh, you got to close the loan on time. You got to communicate. Those things are basic, but you need to let them know what other advice you're giving. Right. So um, some of the TCAs we do, they're very, you know, they're very complex. Right. We're talking about, hey, what if you don't put 20 percent down? What if you put 5 percent down and you put you max out your 401k and then you, you know, you pay off this credit card over here. And I want I want my agents to know that I'm giving financial advice to their clients that are going to change their wealth picture in the future beyond just, hey, here's our rate, you know. And I, I will tell you, this is a true story. Just locked, locked this client in yesterday. We did multiple TCAs for him. He's buying an investment property. We were off. We were off by a point. Okay. It wasn't close. And he's like, hey, I appreciate all the work you guys do. I trust you. I trust your team. I know you're not the cheapest. I'm going with you anyway because I know you're going to get the job done. And what you've provided me tells me that you are being transparent and open. I don't have to worry that later on in the process, I'm not going to get what you told me. So listen to that, guys. If you want to be the trusted advisor and you want to win, even when you don't have the lowest rate, and most people don't have the lowest rate, uh, there's always a lower rate. Uh, you you got to deliver advice. So that's amazing. So Deborah, I'm going to have you ask a question in a minute. Uh, I do I do want to get more realtor videos like this. So for anyone listening to this, if you've got a realtor that sees the value of Mortgage Coach, I don't think you can fake something like that. So we're just looking for really authentic. But if there's realtors that get the, the they appreciate the value of you as a loan officer and a mortgage coach, and you would love to have a couple more videos like that. So Deborah, any questions or things that you think uh, we could pull out of Greg here that would be helpful to the community? Yeah, I was just wondering, Greg, have you ever on these content days that you're doing, which I love that you're doing them, um, have you and the, the agent ever partnered up and said, you know, like proactively help them prospect with, here's a cost of waiting or here's a, a rent to own TCA that you could then record having a video and go and market it. Or, you know, offer it as like a sizzle reel to then fill a room and do like a home buying class for the, you know, next gen home buyer. Have you ever partnered together in that way with your content? I've used TCAs in, in home buyer classes in the past, but honestly, like uh, one of the things, my, my shortcoming is I'm not super tech savvy. So I haven't figured out how to, um, you know, include TCAs in videos and, and stuff like that as far as sharing on social. So I really haven't done that. Um, we will from time to time share a, a TCA, but we're just sharing the TCA. So people, you know, are clicking on the link. They're getting the same thing that the client would get in that case. So, you know, I have a solution for you, Greg. <laughs> I, I know you do. I know you do. Uh, I, no. No, I, I've been watching your stuff and I've actually had, I do have a marketing person on my team. She is more tech savvy than me. So we'll get, maybe get you and her connected and figure that out. But you know, like even with some of your agents, if you ask them, you know, surely some of the people that they met with maybe didn't list or didn't buy, maybe there was buyer's fatigue. And mm -hmm. what if you captured a video, if, if it's just very natural, like you, you and the agent next to each other, you could have a cup of coffee, you have the TCA in the background and you're just educating again, just showing right. the problems that you solve that it would be an opportunity for them to re-engage with prospects that either they didn't follow up with, or maybe they're not using a CRM. But what I love about the TCAs is it gives validity to numbers where I, you know, I think consumers naturally are going to assume you're just trying to sell them, you know, whether you're an agent or a loan officer. So the TCA actually there's truth in numbers. And when they see the graph and even, you know, like I was thinking, Dave, I don't know which, of the interviews you did where they showed 
let's say you buy now or you wait later, same interest rate, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because rates are going up, but today's rate, you get a little bit of a lender credit. And we know with a lot of the first time home buyers, their biggest challenge is cash to close that. How huge is that? You know, right. just showing the truth and the number. So it gives them that visual and understanding and the clarity and, you know, making a better decision maybe sooner than had they not seen the data. Right. Yeah. We, I mean, we, one of the reels or not reels, but one of the, the videos we shot was about the cost of waiting. So we used numbers, but we did not put a TCA with it. So what? Uh, I know, I know it's crazy. I've, I've <laughs> used, I have a couple of flyers that I made. Um, and I do have one that's, you know, cost of waiting, like five, you got 5% down in your pocket today and waiting to get 20% down. So that's one of the things. And then I am putting one together right now that in our area, uh, you know, people think that because the home prices have gone up so much, they think they should wait. So I'm showing them what happens if you were to buy now at rates today, or if you were to buy in the future with, even if, even if the prices went down 10%, if your rate went up from where it is today to, you know, a percent higher, then you would still pay more. So uh, it's, it's getting that and using the TCAs in my marketing that probably is a big, would be a big lift for me. So I know. But even if you just, just let the agent, time. yeah. Even if you just lever, leverage the agent where it looks like you're the advisor who also is trying to help grow the agent's business where maybe you pick their, you know, each of them usually has a homeowner's insurance rep right. that they like. So it's like, how can we leverage that homeowner's insurance? Do you have a book of business of renters where you know their leases are about to be up in 90 days? Mm -hmm. We have a video that is me and the agent. We're going to go over a rent to own TCA. Let's package this. We can co-brand it with the insurance agent and let's email it out to your database of renters where you know their lease is about to expire and the agent's going to, the insurance agent will get the homeowner's policy, you know, okay. but it's just, it's unique ways to add value to an agent where you're using the TCA to allow it to speak truth and also make it very easy to make a decision while educating. Right. But it makes you look like the rock star because you're helping prospect for the agent. Yeah. That's so, great. so, so guys, the, the headline on this call is, you know, why, realtors love mortgage coach and you know the thing is it's not that they're going to love mortgage coach they love you so right. so you know what she was saying like she, she you know because greg asked her to and she spoke to mortgage coach because she knew it was the software that's bringing truth to numbers she knows it was the platform that helped her when she was a home buyer and then she has seen it as an agent and it's helped her but it's it's you it's greg you know uh it's it's a unique competitive differentiator so, you know, hopefully the takeaway you get from this, because we wanted to make this like a short, quick hit. I'll give you one more chance to ask a question, Deborah, before we wrap it up. But I, I hope the, the takeaway is, you know, don't keep it a secret, you know, like you, you, don't be like, oh, I do this thing, but my realtors don't know I do it. The checklist is make sure you're CCing the realtors when it makes sense. So they're seeing it. And you're doing it in a useful way. You're not doing it to brag. You're not doing it to for anything else other than to be a more efficient partner with the agent. Make sure that at some point when it's tailored and it's right, that you're um, walking your agents through their own personal total cost analysis. To Deborah's point, make sure that you're coming up with TCA strategies that help generate leads for them. They're going to love you and it even more if you like, hey, I got a video idea. You know, we'll do this. I've got this rip versus own, or I've got this cost of waiting, and it's going to generate leads for you. They're going to love you even more. So, Greg, before we let Deborah ask another question, anything else you think we should, you know, cover, or anything else as a coach you want to make sure that loan officers get from this? Yeah, I think you know one of the things I, I do also have loan officers in my branch, and one of the things that we're working on right now is. Um, you know, sending out TCAs, the TCA a day. I think that was your idea, Deborah. Um, you know, so we're having them send out TCAs unsolicited. Um, you know, you use use what the, the tools you have right now. And you just never know. And, and those can be sent to realtors too. And and so you see somebody in your town that has a great listing and you want to put together some some financing options. That's a great way to do that. I think just getting out in front of people again is going to be the key. We have spent two years having the best years ever in the mortgage business, 
the phone rang. You didn't have to really do anything. We're all going to have to sharpen our skills again. We're going to have to get out there and we're going to have to sit in front of referral partners with value, right? And a TCA is a great way to show your value, show your strategies um, in a way that other people can understand. Yeah. And, and, and if you did not watch today's call about how to get, how to win with financial planners, guys, the big takeaway from that was have case studies. You know, they, during the call, they shared um, four different case studies that they would use when having a meeting with an advisor. And I've interviewed Greg many, many times. And almost every time, you know, he's sharing a couple case studies. Uh, if, for anyone who hasn't watched all my interviews with Greg, he was a CPA. So he, he knows, or were you CPA? I know you were a finance. No, manager. I was in, I was a finance manager for the County, but oh, it's, that's called, right. it's, it sounds good though, Dave. No, I, well, <laughs> my dad, my dad was a controller and people would say a CPA and he's like, well, I'm not a CPA. I'm a finance guy, but I knew right. you had a finance background. Right. Uh, so, so Deborah, any last questions or wrap up before we go into wrap up mode? Just, Greg, what you said with getting back to face-to-face, -face, I couldn't agree more, and I would challenge you for January. I think when so many are focused on the new business and constantly chasing new clients, I think it's a great opportunity for January for you to invite your book of business that you've ever done alone for. You could invite your agents to it as well, that you have a class where your clients come to you. It's kind of a reboot or renew. Let's look at your debt as a debt manager. Let's look at maybe how COVID has maybe impacted your situation. Um, and you'd be amazed of how many are probably sitting there who have no idea what their interest rate is or how to maximize the built up equity they have and, and believe enough in themselves to possibly create a retirement plan because too many don't have one. Mm -hmm. That when you just love on your current database <clears throat> and show that you're not always chasing the new client, they're going to have referrals for you. I guarantee you after that class, you're going to have people that are going to say, oh, I have so-and-so that I need to send to you. But mm -hmm. it's a great time for January for you to re-engage and reconnect while everyone's thinking of finance and budgeting and, you know, possibly retirement and losing weight, getting goals put together. Yeah. Have a class and get them That's in. That's a great and, idea. Mm -hmm. that, that is a great idea because, you know, it happens all the time. We, we have people that are coming to us and they're putting some, you know, really huge down payment down. And then you find out they don't have any money in a 401k, right? Or they, or they're, they don't have their money invested it's sitting in a, in a savings account earning 0.0%, right? So I think that that is a great idea. So I, I took that note. Thanks, Deborah. Appreciate it. Good, good. And just for the record, that was Todd's idea on the TCA a day. Challenge. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. 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 She's, she's evangelized it, but the CMA, <laughs> C, CMA a day and yes. for agents and TCA yeah. a day. Hey, one last question before we go. I, I got a message, a, a private message from um, Marina Lavelle, Lavelli. I'm not, Marina, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right. And she had asked me for some of the interviews I've done that would help her with a home buying event. Now, I don't want to turn this into a half hour on how to do a home buying event, but I know I've interviewed Dan Keller on that a few times and Marina, I'm going to give you a few links to interviews on this, but Greg, in a minute, would you mind just sharing, you know, what you do during a home buying event? And then Deb, I'll give you one minute. Cause I know you and uh, Denise did one yesterday. I just want to give a little value to Marina. Cause I know she's planning some home buyer events in the next couple of days or weeks. Yeah. So for me, um, when I do a home buyer event, I try to make it very vague, right? So I'm going through concepts. I'm not going through specifics. I don't go through specifics on loan programs. I don't go through, you know, uh, too in depth with credit and things like that. I taught, I try to use the 10,000 foot view because really, and I, this is how I explain it to clients when they're sitting there. So I say, you know, you would not go to the doctor in a group setting. Right. And it's the same thing. Everybody sitting at the table has a different financial setup. They have a different situation in their family, whatever. So this is not to learn your specific situation. You don't want me to sit up here and talk about VA loans for a half an hour if you never served in the military. So we're going to talk about very high level concepts. And then we're going to set up individual meetings. That's really the goal of mine. So I try to keep my classes very short. 
And I think Dan, Dan does the same thing. He kind of does like a beer and, and buying or something like that. And it's, you know, maybe an hour, hour and a half because of questions. Got it. Uh, Deborah, he kept it. You know, I was like a minute or two. Uh, I know Denise did, or maybe it was a realtor event that you sent me pictures to, but she does home buyers events. Any quick advice for Mar Marina? Um, one, I will say anyone who's listening to this, they can, if they want to email me, I, cr I created a really badass PowerPoint last night for uh, a client of mine for today for a class they were doing. It's for first time home buyers. So I would be willing to share that um, for anyone who wants it. Just email marketing at plug and play sm.com and I'll, I'll hand it over. Um, but I would say when we've done this in the past, I think the most intentional question you can ask when they either sign up or register, you could also do this at the very start of the class is just ask them what was their motive or intent for signing up? Like what was the one thing that maybe they were hoping to learn to help make the time as valuable as possible? Because you always want to be of value and sometimes you don't know what that is unless you ask. And then I always tailored it around the four content buckets of, you know, income, assets, debts, credit. And that essentially same thing that Greg said is it's like a Rubik's cube. And sometimes you got to Everyone's situation is unique, but it's basically around those four pillars. And you'd love to schedule a one-on-one -on -one to dive deep and kind of look at their overall financial house to then look at how buying a home fits into that. And the only thing I will add to that, and if it is a first-time home buyer workshop or you have a lot of first-time home buyers, I would do one rent versus own TCA and, and make it a goal that everyone walks out with a generic so they're like, and if you want me to personalize that and localize that based on your goals, so they've seen it generically and now personal, localized, I'll do one of these for you. And if you have a lot of move up buyers, do at least one move up analysis. And the same thing, you want them to look at you as, okay, I've got this high level analogy. I like your Rubik's cube, by the way, uh, around the four things, I might steal that. Um, well, no, I'm going to steal that and I'll give you credit one time for it. Uh, uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Deborah. I'll give you credit every time, but I like that. And then, but you always want to like leave them going, Oh, I want to get that analysis. I want to get something that has tangible value. So, and, and another brilliant thing about what Greg said is that if, you know, it's, he's really kind of doing edge, edge you sell, telling them enough that he delivered value, but they need a one-on-one -on -one with him to finish the puzzle. So, um, um, and, and Dave, to to that, I I didn't mention in the PowerPoint it showed the most like the median rent payment, and there was a rent to own TCA in the PowerPoint using the median rent and how what it would look like at a price point that you could buy with three percent down or five percent down to replace that rent with owning while showing the real cost over time. So you're right, that is. I failed to mention that that was in the PowerPoint, but the intentional part of it is making sure you're using what's realistic of a rent payment in your market. Right on. Well, hey, we're going to wrap this up, everyone. I hope you got value. Give it a like if you are not already following the YouTube channel, Mortgage Coach. Subscribe. You'll get alerts when new videos are uploaded and uh, be active in our Facebook group. Uh, if you are a mortgage coach, black belt or higher, and you have realtors that truly appreciate and respect Mortgage Coach, I would love more videos. So get, you know, overload me with one minute, real, one minute videos of realtors saying what they like in a very authentic way. Hey, Greg, you the man. Uh, don't hang up, Greg, because I want to finish wrapping with you, but uh, take care. And this is a wrap, everybody. Hope you got some value from it.